one of our major new announcements at the show this week is the brand new Blackmagic Ursa Mini. Now you may recall from NAB last year we introduced the full size Ursa camera and we've come back to NAB this time around with a more compact and more portable design. The whole camera weighs under three kilograms in terms of the body so it's designed to be taken and you can use it handheld in a portable environment. If you see on this camera it features many of the similarities with the larger Ursa model uh, so it takes professional batteries, it features on the top of this unit the XLR audio inputs, it's got a whole range of uh, video connectivity through 12 gig SDI connections, records to dual CFAST cards, records to ProRes, it obviously records the RAW in Cinema DNG. You'll see it's got a 5 inch uh, touch screen uh, for all of the menus, same as you have on our cinema camera range, uh, very familiar to Blackmagic camera users. Um, the camera will be available with an EF or a PL mount. That's fixed, so that's one of the differences to the larger Ursa. In this camera you'll make your choice of whether you want a PL or an EF, and it is a fixed lens mount uh, within the camera. One of the major um, new announcements with this camera and with Ursa cameras in general is that we have a brand new sensor that we've announced at the show this week. And that new sensor is a 4.6K sensor uh, delivering an unbelievable 15 stops of dynamic range. So this is the closest we've ever been to film. Indeed, it outperforms some film stock. So we've got a brand new 4.6K sensor version and we'll also be supplying the Ursa Mini with our existing 4K sensor. So there's some choices depending upon how you want to use the camera. So one of the other things you'll see in terms of the connectivity on this camera, like the big Ursa, um, we have a bunch of controls um, so that we can get out, in this case, to a separate EVF. We have a brand new Blackmagic Viewfinder, um, which I'll talk to you about in a second. But we're able to connect to that because we've got a 12 volt power out, as well as having an SDI, uh, SDI output on the side of the camera. Um, they then connect to the EVF that's on top, and I'll bring that around this way so we can see it a little bit better. Um, this is another brand new product. It fits on the Ursa Mini, as well as on the full-size Ursa. This new viewfinder features a full HD 1920-1080 OLED screen within there and, and the, 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 it, this, the performance of this is stunning. Because it's OLED, because it's glass, you can't see the pixels within that image. So you're getting the most beautiful looking image through that EVF. Um, it will turn off when you're not using it. It's got a sensor underneath which just turns it back on immediately. It can be adjusted for left and right eye. You can, uh, you've obviously got um, controls here to lock it in place to suit uh, your eye position. I've got another control here to extend it outwards. So all of the things that you would expect within a, a, an electronic viewfinder, but of course designed specifically to fit the look, the feel, and the operation of the Ursa cameras. One of the things that you'll see on this particular uh, version that we have on the booth here is that we've also got a bunch of accessories that we've developed for it. Um, so we've got the handle that's on the top. We've also got um, here the handle that um, can be situated on the side of the camera on this rosette that, that features here. Or if you use the camera with the shoulder mount, then you can then extend this. And this has got length controls on. So it's got start, stop, record. It's got focus. It's got iris buttons on there as well. So you can extend the arm of this so that when the camera is on your shoulder, ergonomically, it's very nice and it's very easy to use. Availability on the Ursa Mini cameras is end of July going into August. Um, the model variations run from the existing 4K EF, which starts at a pretty incredible $2,995, so under $3,000 uh, for the Ursa 4K EF, um, and the Ursa 4.6K EF will be $4,995. Um, so there's, a, there's, there's some variations depending on whether you want the EF or the PL mount, and depending upon the sensor that you would like to have in the camera body.